In this video, I will outline some tricks that can improve your time when speedrunning Limbo of the Lost. As you may know, the game tends to crash regularly on newer systems. At present moment, the only way to play it without crashes is to either run it on a PC with Windows 7 or older, or to set up a Windows XP virtual machine. Limbo of the Lost Wiki contains a guide explaining how to set up such a virtual machine. Just make sure to set its memory to 2 gigabytes or higher, because otherwise the game will suffer from slowdowns and stuttering. Also, the description of this video contains a link to a PDF file with a speedrunning guide for the game. If you want to get a good time, it is crucial that you print it out and then have it lying in front of you when doing a run, with a ruler placed under the step that you're currently doing. Anyway, on to the actual tricks. Number one, you can move the cursor even when it's not visible. You must take advantage of that by preemptively moving it where the next doorway will be and spam clicking it. Though of course, in order to do that effectively, you will have to memorize where all the doorways are. Looking at the guide can help out a bit here. In addition to that, there are some close-up screens like this where you can move the camera while the cursor is not visible. Number two, normally, until you get the sleeping potion, Ed will repeat his voice line every time you return to Grunger's room. If you combine the snot pot with the skull on this close-up screen, you can avoid him repeating it upon closing the screen. Number three, Briggs classifies as an interactable object. This means you have to move his big fat ass out of the way if it's obscuring the object you want to interact with. Number four, when trying to use items on some finicky objects like this bridge, pay attention to whether the text at the top says its name. Excellent. Number five, when picking up this jar, your cursor does not disappear. Use that to preemptively hold chloroform over where it will be in the inventory and combine it as soon as it appears. Number six, when trying to leave this room after doing stuff at Bugsy's place, make sure to click twice on the floor. Otherwise, Briggs will for some reason walk backwards first before moving forward. Number seven, when Briggs covers the wood gator with the cloth, you regain controls before the box disappears. Use that to right click the cage early. Number eight, when looking at the fly, you can move the cursor during the animation. Use that to grab the jar and hold it over the fly until the animation finishes. Number nine, after you enter the Worrymeister's office, do action on the jaw clamp. You can move the cursor while Briggs is doing this, so preemptively move it where the clamp will be in the inventory and immediately use it on the Worrymeister. Number 10, when actioning the chain, you can click on the door before the box disappears. Number 11, when walking from vent one to vent two, first click on the floor. Otherwise, Briggs will for some reason take the longer way around. Number 12. Giving coins to the beggar is not necessary, and neither are certain other actions, like visiting Registra. Consult the walkthrough on the Limbo of the Lost Wiki for more information on what's optional. Number 13. You can leave this screen by going downwards. Number 14. This tiny matchstick is bugged, since sometimes it may not have a hitbox at all. The best remedy I found for that is to flail the cursor all over the screen and pray for the best. Number 15. Twice in the game, your inventory is cleared from most items, but its position is not reset. After you pick up the map, click the floor near the doorway, and while Briggs is walking, repeatedly click the left arrow in the inventory as much as you can, so that you can later reach your items faster. An important warning about the cutscenes with the janitor. Do not click anything until Briggs automatically leaves the room. Otherwise, the cutscene will break and potentially softlock you. Number 16. In these corridors, if you move Briggs to the side and then click on the doorway, he may go through it immediately, instead of walking up to it first. It's an unreliable trick though, since it doesn't always work. Number 17. You can leave this screen by clicking on the right, instead of on the left. Number 18. You can combine the candle with the emblems on this screen, thus skipping Briggs's dialogue line. Number 19. In order to quickly place the knockers on the heads, you need to know where each knocker will be in the inventory. The PDF guide shows the order they should be in if you follow the steps exactly. Now I've chosen to leave number 20 for last, since it's the trick that you will be using the most commonly across the entire game, and there are so many examples of it that I felt I should put them all together. Namely, doing stuff while Briggs is walking. Right-click that pot before Briggs can move the camera. Click on the floor and combine items while Briggs is walking. Click on the floor before trying to use the water bottle on the fountain. Next, click on the floor next to the door before combining it with the worm. Move Briggs a bit closer to the door before using the key on it. 
Click on the coffin before right-clicking it so that Briggs can walk up to it a bit. Move Briggs closer to the doorway and combine eye with eye patch while he's walking. After getting the metal rod, combine it with the ship's wheel while walking across this screen. First make Briggs walk up closer to the plate before using the makeshift crank on it, and then make him walk up to the stone coffin before actioning it. Make Briggs walk towards the statue before actioning it. You can move Briggs closer to the raven before using the slingshot on it. Combine the cage with sawdust while on the way to Bugsy. Combine saffron with the vial while coming back from Bugsy. Walk up to the door before using the fingernail on it. Combine pen with ink while leaving Worrymeister's office. Combine knife with wood while leaving this room. Walk up towards this spot before actioning the flute. Walk up to the cup before picking it up. Walk up to the window before using your last meal on it. Walk up to the paper and charcoal before picking them up. Walk up to these items before picking them up. Walk up to the button before actioning it. Walk up to the wire before picking it up. Walk up to the skull before picking it up. Combine the items while on the way to the broken track. Walk up to the metal plate before picking it up. Walk up to the knocker before picking it up. Walk up to each of these emblems before picking them up. Same goes for this knocker here and this candle. Walk up to the statue before looking at it. Walk up to each one of these knockers before picking them up. And finally, when applying knockers to these doors, make sure to walk up to each door first before looking at it. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video.